Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for allowing us to come this way and bringing us over the highways and byways to attend our annual session, oh God. We just want to lift you up right now on today, God. We want to give you all the praise. We want to give you all the worship because it is due unto you, God. We just thank you for every family that is represented here and keeping them in perfect peace and those that are connected to them, God. Protect everybody that's on the way and the people that are in this class. Allow their minds to be open, illuminated, and reveal what you need to have them revealed unto them, God. Just use them in a perfect way, oh God, and just give us the strength and the knowledge and the application to apply these things in our life and in our church. In Jesus Christ, we pray and I'll say amen. 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 All right. How did y'all enjoy yesterday? Good, 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 good. Uh, we're going to take off on uh, this part is called uh, how to learn the language. How to learn the language. We all understand that everything has a certain language, you know. Every race has a different type of language. Everybody communicates different. Uh, I'm going to start with our uh, baby boomers because our baby boomers, they are used to picking up the phone or talking to each other face to face. Uh, Generation uh, X is used to doing that and also, and also, uh, texting and saying whatever they got to say on the phone. Millennials, millennials are used to texting everything. They don't want to talk to nobody. They, they don't want to pick up a phone. Uh, I, I remember my sister telling me about an upstate New York. There was a group of kids that was in a car together and they was all texting each other inside the car, inside the car. But something tragic happened because of that. They all died because they ran into a telephone pole and it killed all of them, you know, and that's and it, it's a shame because what you can say to each other in the presence, what you can say to each other in the presence of company, how you doing, Doc? I'm doing all right. It, what you can say to each other in the company of each other is better than sitting back and just texting and saying, "Hey, what you doing tomorrow? And do what you got going on today? And what's gonna happen?" So we gotta understand that no, we need to learn the language of the people. When you go over to to Dubai, they speak in Arabic. When you go to Africa, there are several different languages that they're speaking, you know. So, I mean, we have to understand the language in any place that we are at. So, we understand that millennials, millennials, what did we say about their attention span yesterday? Five minutes. Five minutes. So, what can you say in five minutes to a millennial that will capture them? What can you say about the gospel? What can you say to them that you think that'll capture them in that five minute span? Girl, you need Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and you bring it to them, and you bring it to them just like that. You need Jesus. Because, see, God didn't say you had to have a specific way to plant a seed. It just says plant the seed. One, another one will come and water, and God will give the increase. So when you know that they need Jesus, you just say that. You think about it like this. When Peter when Peter was on the boat sinking, he didn't say, he didn't pray no magnanimous prayer. He went, no, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I, he said, help. <laughs> he got right to the point. He said, help. And that's what we need. They need help. So when you when you are dealing with them, you need to grab them as fast as you can. And when you have them, that's when they'll begin to engage with you and find out if you really are about what you say. Yeah. Woo! 
That was a mouthful. That's real. <laughs> because this is what we understand. So what are some of the languages that you think that, that millennials use? What are some of the jargon that they say that you have say that you have heard and you don't understand? Well, I do understand, but now they say you gotta have your bag. What that mean? <laughs> what that mean? Because some of our people are looking around, they're like, what is the bag? <laughs> so what does it mean? That's the money. That means get your money up. Right, right. That means get your money up. That means when you say you got your bag, that means you working on your pocket. Think about it. It's relatable. Pocketbook is a bag. <laughs> They just using the acronym of what that is. Get your money up. So what are some of the other things that you heard that millennials say that you, you might not know the terminology about? It hurts when my daughter says, I'm chasing paper. I'm chasing paper. Mama, I got to get that paper. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you trying to get me to come in his class. So, so what, what was you saying? I said, my daughter fifth decided. She kept talking. I got to chase that paper. I got to get that paper. I get I get that paper. So so Charles, you know Charles, come in and talk to me. <laughs> so 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 you gotta you gotta get that bag up. You gotta get that paper. I'm out for that guap. I'm out for that money. <laughs> I'm out for the loop. So what so what are some of the other things that you heard that 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 you are around but you don't know? So what someone what is, I know y'all heard a lot. <laughs> Nobody hears that much. I hear, but I don't know what they talk about, so I just ignore. Them. Okay, okay. Well, I got you, Brittany. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I out. Nah, they, they got the door like I don't know what's going on with that. So, all right. So, you think about it. you? Yes, yes, sir. You talk about the words and young kids. You say yeah. They call you bro, and now they call you off and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, what is what does bro mean? Bro, that, what it means to me. Not what it means in period, period. I don't know. Oh, it's period. simple. Bro simply means it's a form of respect. I'm going to call you bro. Hey, what's up, bro? I don't know your name, but I know you're a brother. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, bro. And then when they say something like, hey, what's up, ump? That means that they highly respect you because they put you basically put you into their family. So what's up, huh? If I don't know you, you look like one of my uncles. What's up, huh? What's good? Yeah, OG. Right, okay. OG. OG means original gangster. So they look at you like a form of a gangster, but not in that in that in that context all the time. It's, it's simply saying that I respect you for what you done did and what you done accomplished and how you done held it down. <laughs> so when you check up, my son called me OG, but I checked him. Uh, yeah, and, and you know why? And you know why? The reason is see he say OG is because is because you're using the old style tactics of discipline. Okay. That's why. That's why, because you think about it. Now, uh, some of y'all grew up in private schools and some went to all those wonderful great schools where back in the day, nuns used to tan your hand when you get out of pocket. And then when they did that, when you left there, if you was disrespectful about whatever you got your hand tanned from, guess who else? Once you got to Miss Johnson house and she heard about it, what was she going to do? She was going to tag it again. And by the time you made it home to your house, what were they going to do? They was going to tag it again. They was going to tag it again. So you, you got to understand, you got to understand how that system works. So what's happening is they respect the old ways of doing things. Now, everybody is not the same. Everybody is not the same. Because now we have people who won't even correct their kids in speech. Mm. Let alone in actions. Let alone in actions. Let, yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. If you talk to one of your kids and they all about the man, I hear you now. Who is that? That's the 